Are you on the fence between buying a boat or a fishing kayak? Well, let me share with you why I sold my boat and upgraded to a fishing kayak. Let's go! Hey guys, my name's Darren. I've been fishing for 30 years and specializing in kayak fishing since 2018. And this channel is all about leveling up your kayak fishing skills and I would love to invite you to be a part of that community. Hit the sub and you're in. All right, so let's hop into the 18 reasons I believe that kayak fishing absolutely destroys boat fishing. And to be clear, I used to own a boat, but I sold it and now I am all in for kayak fishing. Are you guys ready to ruffle the feathers? I know I am. Reason number one, the beauty of kayak fishing is that you're able to access places that boats simply are not able to access. You're those rivers, those streams, some of those hidden ponds and lakes where there's simply not a boat ramp. And the beauty of being able to access those is that those ponds and lakes that don't have boat ramps is simply going to be an advantage to you as a kayak angler simply by the law of averages. Less fishermen on a body of water will equal more fish for you in size and and numbers. No need for a boat ramp, which brings me to reason number two, boat launch fees. Guys, if you have a boat, you have to go to a boat launch and you gotta pay those fees. And I run into this from time to time, especially when I'm traveling, I get to a place, I'm like, sweet, and there's a boat launch fee. The beauty about having a fishing kayak is you don't have to enter at the boat ramp. You can literally park at a park or some other entry to that body of water, literally throw your kayak on a kayak cart and roll it to an entry point and boom, you are off fishing with $10 in your pocket. Cha -ching. All right, reason number three, if you are at a boat launch, a lot of times I've heard some of you guys tell me you could wait if you have a boat up to an hour to launch your boat. Beauty of a kayak is you can just throw that on a cart, roll it down to an entry point that's not a boat launch and take off and start fishing and leaving those boats in the dust. I don't know about you, but I'll take a line in the water versus waiting to launch any day. But that's mostly because I'm super impatient. All right, this brings me to reason number four and I like this one a lot. Uh, how do small fish avoid predatory fish? Well, it's really Simple. They use their size to their advantage a lot of times finding cover in shallow water. So a lot of times as a kayak angler, I'll position my boat on places where you can't necessarily bank fish. I'll position my boat on the shore and now I have a casting angle that is more natural to feeding behavior. Something that if you were to try in a boat, a lot of times would get you beached. Reason number five is most boats, especially bass boats, need a trailer for transportation and these bad boys can run you up to $10,000. The beauty of a fishing kayak is a lot of times you can just throw that in the bed of your truck, strap it to the top of your van or SUV and you're off for zero dollars. Zero dollars, ten thousand dollars. I don't know about you, I know which one I like. Reason number six, fishing kayaks get the right of way. All right, so a vessel on a sail uh, or not under power like your canoes, your kayaks, your paddle boards are gonna get right of way over your powered vessels, leaving the greater responsibility to the powered vessel. Now, I don't share this for you not to be courteous to your fellow anglers who happen to be fishing from a boat. I love all anglers. I don't care what you're fishing from, boat, the bank, a different kayak, from a pool noodle, from one of those inflatable ducks. I don't care, we're all out there trying to catch fish. I only share this because a lot of times having less responsibility out in the water is a lot more relaxing. Reason number seven, let's say you are on a body of water that can be accessible by boat and kayak. Well, there's still likely gonna be places on that body of water where only kayaks can access. And let me tell you, some of those places where boats can't access, only a kayak can get into. I have some of those around me and that's where I get some of my biggest fish. And reason number eight, recently on my live show that takes place every Tuesday night at 8.30 p.m. called Kayak Fishing Obsessed. Shameless plug. I was recently talking with my buddy Itching the Fish and he loves fishing and kind of floating these streams and rivers for smallmouth bass in Arkansas. And as I was watching some of his videos, some of the places he's sneaking his kayak through would never be accessible by boat. So in this scenario, having a kayak is gonna allow you to fish streams that a lot of times boats would never be able to access. Reason number nine, if you're in a kayak, you're simply gonna be less noticeable and a lot more quiet than if you were in a boat. Not rolling up to your spot in a motor or even a trolling motor is gonna give you that stealth advantage. You're gonna want those fish to notice your lure before they notice that you are there. And this is especially important on these highly pressured lakes where these fish have been trained over the years. Reason number 10, you get to fish from a chair. And I know in some of these higher end kayaks, these seats are super comfortable, making a day out on the water extremely relaxing. And yes, I know on boats, they have some chairs that sometimes you can put and kind of lean into. I used to have one, but it compares nothing to the fishing kayak chair that I fish out of for eight hours on end. Reason number 11, when I fish from my boat, a lot of times I'd fish a spot, and then when I was done, I'd turn on the engine and rip across the lake to the next spot. When I got a fishing kayak, it actually forced me to slow down, and it did a couple things. One, forced me to fish places that I typically would not, and I can't tell you how many fish I've caught in these places. And two, it helped me develop a different way of fishing, which 
which I have grown to love, which is trolling. If I want to go to a spot that may be 10 or 15 minutes away, I'll either fish along the way or I'll throw a couple crankbaits on, throw them in my Yak Attack Pro Mega Rod holders, and I can't tell you how many fish I would pick up. Catfish, bass, crappie, bluegill, that would grab onto my crankbaits as I'm going from place to place. All fish I would typically just be running over in a bass boat. Reason number 12, and some of you might not consider this a pro, but I do, is that when you head out on a fishing kayak, you're actually gonna get some exercise. And the cool thing is, fun fact, you burn 350 calories for every hour of kayak fishing. You're gonna be working out your core, you're gonna be working out your legs, you're gonna be working out your arms, and even getting in some cardio. Plus when you exercise, you're releasing endorphins in your brain, creating a sense of calm, and making it a much more relaxing time out on the water. And when your wife or girlfriend asks you what you're doing on Saturday morning, you can say, I am exercising all morning long. Some would say that the con of kayak fishing is limited storage. I would actually argue this because what I believe it forces you to do is actually do a lot more research on the body of water so you make sure that you're taking with you all that you will need. I believe this actually gives you an advantage as a kayak angler because you actually have a plan. And in my book, a goal without a plan is just a wish. Our reason number 12, when I used to own a crotch rocket, there's this camaraderie that anytime you ever saw another motorcyclist you kind of acknowledge them and this kind of happens in the jeep world as well and i feel the same thing happens with those who kayak fish i feel a sense of camaraderie for those who like to fish in this niche 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 i think it's actually niche type of way reason number 13 is a lot of times when i'm boat fishing uh, i really like to fish with somebody else it made launching and kind of getting the boat to and from the water a whole lot easier you can split costs a lot of times on the gas because that stuff's kind of expensive but one of the reasons i love moving over to kayak fishing is because i could go out whenever i wanted i didn't have to meet someone at a specific time in order to get that boat launch because no one actually liked to fish when i like to fish which is get up really early as the sun is coming up and so i said hey meet me out there and likely what i'll end up doing is just sending you photos of all the fish I caught because you weren't willing to get up early. Reason number 14, a lot of times this is an oversight, but whenever I owned a boat, I didn't have the space at my property to store it, which required me to go and rent one of those storage units. And I remember it was $80 a month, which I imagine now it's even more. So we're looking at $1,000 with tax year over year just to store my boat. With a fishing kayak, you can store them a lot of different places, being they have a lower profile, you can stick them in a barn, you can actually put them up on a hoist if you've got room in your garage. If you're interested in an install video, I'll throw that video in the description below. Reason number 15, water is a super inefficient medium to travel through at speed, which is gonna be a problem if you have a bass boat with a motor. Now I know there's a ton of different variables when it comes to how much gas you would use as a bass fisherman. If you have a small body of water, not traveling that much distance, if you have a small boat and small motor, your gas price is gonna go low. But if all that is to the opposite, then you could spend anywhere between $50 and $100 per outing. I do know one thing, however, how much gas it costs me on my fishing kayak. Reason number 16, on a boat, the marine oil should be changed out every 100 hours. And if you do it yourself, it's gonna cost you anywhere between $50 and $75. So if you hire this out for someone else to do with you, because it is a pain in the butt, it could cost you double, even triple that amount. Once again, I know exactly how much it costs me to change out the oil on my fishing kayak. Zero dollars and zero cents. Right, reason number 17, and this is a super sexy topic of conversation, insurance. <laughs> so on a boat, insurance is costing you anywhere from $300 to $900 per year. And if you were to say you have a really expensive fishing kayak, if you wanted to insure that, it's only gonna cost you around $150. I don't know about you, but I know which one I would vote for. And reason number 18, new bass boats can reach on the high end $100,000. And I did some research to try to find out what's the most expensive fishing kayak out there, and it ranges around $6,000. I was able to pick up my fishing kayak, a native Slayer Propel 10 for around $1,300 off Facebook Marketplace years ago, which is a much more manageable price point for myself, and also a much more manageable price point for my wife. And if you're interested in picking up a steal of a deal like I did off Facebook Marketplace, I'd highly recommend watching this video so you don't end up with a lemon. And the video is titled, Buyer Beware, Used Fishing Kayak Buyer's Guide. Right there. I'm, 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 I'm